I believe that the majority of my life, I've believed in God more than I have not believed in Him. But I've always had doubts, like with the stories in the Bible. And um, I would always let my doubts pull me away from God. Um, and I, I, I've always felt like I never was really sure. Like I would say I believed in God and I would tell people I believe in God, but I don't know if I really believed that I believe in God. I've been coming here for like 20 years. Um, I played in the, the praise band like a long time ago. Uh, my wife and son left because of my drinking and um, using. And then I stopped coming to church and I stopped coming here for about three years. And, you know, then I went down that path, you know, where I lost everything with drugs and alcohol. I reached a point in my life where I was stealing, cheating, lying, manipulating people, doing whatever I had to do to, um, to get the drug, you know, to get the cocaine. Um, if I wasn't doing the cocaine, I was thinking of how I could get money to do it. Um, I was doing things that are completely against my morals and completely against the way I was raised by my parents. Um, doing things that just disgusted me on the inside and I knew were wrong. But when you reach, when you get to that point, you know, the drug takes over and you don't care, you know, and it's like Satan, you know, is taking over um, and you're letting him. I reached a point where I was pretty much homeless and I was taking a bath in the river, in the Merrimack River in, um, in Fenton and it was in August so it was warm and all of us and the sun was shining down on the water and it was quiet and peaceful and that was the point where I felt God's presence right there with me. And I realized that even though I let the devil bring me to my knees and I lost completely everything, God was still there providing for me. And um, it was a powerful experience. It was, I feel like it was the first time I really felt God to where I actually believed it. Um, and from that point forward, you know, I started getting on my knees every night praying and asking God to help me stay sober. And he has removed the desire to use from me. Now I am back on the praise team playing bass guitar again, and I love it. Um, I feel like I have my family that I grew up with, and I also have my AA family and my church family, and all three of those support me along with God um, and I know that I have to pray I have to ask God every morning to help me stay sober and every single night I thank him for keeping me sober um, because I know that all I have is one day at a time and and I know that I'm still a work in progress um, you know, and I know more will be revealed. I used to tell people I believe in God, and now I could actually say I believe in God and actually believe it. 